In 1925, Metro-Goldwyn-Mayer, also known as MGM, released a documentary. One of the first of its kind, 1925 Studio Tour, is essentially a tour of MGM Studios. It was made in order for people to learn about the studio and what's involved when it comes to making a motion picture. Though this film is considered a documentary, John Grierson, writer of First Principles of Documentary, might disagree. I am arguing that this film both contradicts and appeals to many of the concepts Grierson identified as key components of a documentary. By comparing this film to Grierson's principles, I will be able to make a conclusion by the end of this video essay. To start off, one of the first principles of documentary Grierson mentions is the simple act of going out and filming the real world. This is a blatant jab at the studios of the time. Studios attempted to create a version of real life, but failed when compared to what documentary films were actually able to capture. Though the studio tour is being shot in the location of MGM Studios, it's ironic that their real life location is a studio. Additionally, Grierson mentions being on location and using real people rather than actors in a set. 1925 Studio Tour is using real people for the film. They show real production executives, directors, and even actors. In fact, one of the actresses' names listed in one of the shots is Lucille Lasseur. This name may not sound familiar, but she would later change it to Joan Crawford, Oscar-winning actress of her time. As much as it is indisputable that the film is on location and using real people, it doesn't quite feel too far off from actors in a set. Everyone is posed and clearly rehearsed. Everything feels forced. I don't think that's what Grierson had in mind. Another principle Grierson discusses is related to having real subjects who actually went through the events. We see countless examples of different departments hard at work. Plenty of people working on something, conveniently while the cameras are rolling. As far as we can tell, this is real. However, I would argue that a studio tour documentary is going to want to make themselves look good. There's no proof that any of this is staged, but there also isn't any evidence to prove it's not. Similar to the Lumiere brothers' workers leaving the factory. It has been suggested that those workers had to leave and come back multiple times in order to film the shot. But again, we can't prove anything. Grierson also states, My separate claim for documentary is simply that in its use of the living article, there is also an opportunity to perform creative work. This film is not doing nearly enough to perform creative work. Everything feels ingenuine between the overly enthusiastic smiles and the statuesque poses. As far as I'm concerned, this could have been any studio tour. There is little evidence that suggests MGM is any different from another studio. On another note, Grierson warned his audience about films that fail to address a larger meaning behind what's been captured. They lack claims or relevant issues. I think that sounds a lot like 1925 Studio Tour. There is really no insight to be gained from watching it, except maybe to go watch an MGM film. Obviously, they tried to be creative with what they chose to show, including introducing us to current starlets and directors at the time, but I can't help feeling like I was being tricked into something. The end of the film felt as if they were going to ask for donations. Grusin also makes the assertion that documentary films should allow people to make their own opinions about a subject rather than the filmmaker forcing their beliefs onto others. I think this is an excellent point. I also think this film comes a little too close to forcing, between the acting feeling like it's fake and forced, as well as the show-off vibes it gives. It seems as if they wanted us to find their studio fascinating and there wasn't much room for any other opinion. However, I will say I was still able to form this opinion, so they must have done something right. Overall, I think it is unclear whether Grusin would find this film to be a documentary, but as far as I'm concerned, they did more right than wrong. I definitely think it could have been better, but they had to start somewhere. <laughs>